Tired of getting sand kicked in your face. <sighs> got to do calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh, uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. Alvarez surfaced. Intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear Uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? He told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. They'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez, so make sure your shit's squared away.
say. Thanks. You gonna let an itty bitty moccasin scare you, boy? They ain't creeping and crawling all. Of I'm here to help you. Come mierda! Vence todo para pinga! You understand English? See? I killed the men outside. I only want to talk to you, so I'm gonna put my gun down, all right? If you try and fuck me, I kill you! Fair enough. You're the one who wants to kill me! I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to find you. Your uncle, he sold you out. He ain't coming to get you. You're lying! I just spoke to him, he said he was sending a boat. Wait, you think it's a coincidence that as soon as you got here, those grease balls showed up? Zaraga called Marcano, told him where to find you. I, I must find a phone. Jesus, man, there's no one for you to call. Marcano is never gonna let you out of this city. He's gonna use you, and when he gets what he wants, he's gonna kill you. The only shot of getting out of this alive is me. What do you want from me? Tell me where Marcano's counterfeit operation is set up and we're square. Everything is uh, in a boxing ring that Tony Marcano owns, but it's already up and running. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Come on. Tom, we got the hell out of here. Where are you taking me? I know someone who can get you out of the city. Make sure Marcano doesn't find you.
keep this thing straight, man! Just didn't sit right. Look, you didn't do anything to me. As far as I can tell, you're just another person in the long line of folks my college fucked over. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Okay? Can you keep this thing straight, man? Megan, what's going on? I need your help getting this man out of the city. He's in a lot of trouble with Sal Marcon. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Hit the lepers. This who you told me about? Yeah, he's the one. Listen, father, I'm really counting on you here. I got nowhere else I can take him. Shit, I'm. All right. I know a Jesuit in New Mexico. He helps people in situations like this. What well, needs to happen right now? Marcano's gonna tear the city apart looking for him. All right, I'll make the call. Pasa, por favor. Aquí estás a salvo. Gracias. I appreciate this.
I'm on foot in downtown and need some new wheels. Aye, I'll get around to you right away. Oh, my fault. I'm downtown and about ready for a resupply. I'll head your way now. Appreciate it. You want something? You let me know. Let me see what you got. Use it. Breaking new Bordeaux news. There are reports that a fierce gun battle took place earlier today at the Anderson Bay Lighthouse in the bayou. Witnesses report extended gunfire and police are investigating casualties. Police have announced that an investigation is underway. brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. <sighs> Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man, a fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy, you understand? This thing falls apart, we fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck ups. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. <laughs> if he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcy's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. She keeps denying it. Shut up, you How y'all doing? Got a good show for y'all. Let's just stop trying to just your radio. It ain't broke. Back half of the program, we'll be playing some fine music you're gonna be. But before we get there, let's flip over to the other side of the world. Vietnam, Vietnam, god damn. Vietnam. 
The Vietnam War rages on. And here, we talking about the black men killed there. But I tell you what, New Porto, don't fucking kid yourself. Ain't just about black men. Hell no. Plenty of death to go round to the poor folk, too. You ain't got shit. And son, you get shit on. Meanwhile, the politicians glad hand the widows and orphans. Give speeches about the nobility. Watch it. Yes, I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. You ran him over! Where was I? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever called home. Christ, I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through. You gonna kill us! You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to Tommy. All right. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. Hi, you, Neville. Where you at, out, see? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give him your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, out, see? What's that? All you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah, we'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> Even. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Get in there and meet. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenge in the face, Nick Boo Boo Beaumont, comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knife Johnson!
to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Pray that bitch! <laughs> to attend to. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. Lucky. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work its way into every nook and cranny. That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you. You are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your peck up burn. It's gonna curl and twist as the... <coughs> What did you do? Get behind! We don't have to do this. We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of you. So that's that then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should've listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. Sal will be along shortly.
to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. Georgie, get your ass in here.
Your Uncle Tommy's dead. I thought you'd like to know. Sorry, Pops. I, oh, man, I know what he meant to you. And... He was a smart kid, your Uncle Tommy. Could have been anything. I tried to tell him, go to college. Even offered to pay for it. <laughs> Instead, he went to Cuba. It's not your fault. Yeah. Well, we're pretty well fucked now, you understand? And I was counting on that counterfeit money without it. Yeah. Well, now there's got to be something we can do. You go put the squeeze on people. Get to increase what they're kicking up. It ain't gonna be enough. Just because you poke holes in someone doesn't mean you're gonna get anything extra out of them. Could always call Leo Galanti, ask him to front... Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a call. Get out! Shit. Leo! <laughs> How the fuck are you? It's Sal. Yeah? L listen, I, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Hey there, pal. How are you? South Downs belongs to us. Tommy was smart and set up some solid, low-key rackets there. Should be a smooth transition for us. Time for me to run something more than a holler, brother. You got us secure in the district. I see no reason we shouldn't remain there. To say I'm biding my time would be a fucking understatement. I got no idea where your mind's at, but my patience is running short. I appreciate you getting someone else to lock down this turf while I got shit up and running in our last district. But now I'm ready to take this part of the city, too. You get this to me, Ma Connor's gonna shit himself. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh Bucatini for you. A man earns respect by making hard choices. I'm towing the line, Lincoln. That's gotta mean something. Remember, you asked me to be a part of this. Anytime you wanna make a call. Can't go wrong here, brother. As long as you lean my way. <laughs> Don't let some white boy rush you. Take your time. Calling this one for Scaletta. How about you quit wasting my goddamn time? 
No one here has got more know-how than yours truly. If you can't see that, then you can go fuck yourself. Twice now you've ruined my pleasant disposition. You're better off not going for a third. I earned this shit, Burke, so shut your fucking mouth and maybe you'll learn something. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. Need someone to get this cat. I'm in the bayou and I need friends. I'm Hi. I'll get her out to you right away. All right. What do we Keep handle today? Yes, our business is done. See anything you need? Here's your car, boss. Now, let me see what you got. Don't. Breaking news. A raging fire has swept through the storied boxing arena in South Downs today. Firefighters are now battling the blaze. There is no report as to how many lives have been lost, but witnesses say Tommy Marcano, brother of reputed mobster Salvatore Marcano, was spotted at the scene shortly before the fire.
This part of town's run by a man named Tony D'Orazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages Lou's relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted, and the rest of the hotel's crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now, and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. Took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and launder lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts, then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. for me. The name's Lenny Davis. I work in the city clerk's office, and your friend said you could help with this guy blackmailing me. What kind of juice makes you someone worth blackmailing? My office approves new projects under development. I... I fucked up, cheated on my wife, and this guy, Jimmy Kavar, filmed it. Come to find out the girl worked for Kavar, too. And now he owns you. He's forcing me to rubber stamp phony building projects and cash the checks for his company, Kavar Construction probably seen the signs of where they're building the new city hall. Thing is, Caval doesn't really come around unless there's a problem. Don't worry. I'm pretty good at causing people problems. Some of his men hang out around downtown. Look, I ain't a bad guy. I, I just made a mistake is all. Keep your head down, Lenny. I'll pay Caval's men a visit. See what they know. Caval's people will know more about what he's doing than I will.
You looking for something? I used to be going to Bobby Airways daily, but it hadn't been the same problem. Don't take your word for it. Appreciate it. Shoot us downtown.
Downtown, they're about ready. I'll be out directly. It's only a matter of time. You look at that bay of pigs bullshit and tell me I'm wrong. And hell, there's not just commies dropping the bomb, it'll be one of our own fallout. You spot anything you can use? This is exactly why I'm building my own fallout shelter. So you can be real nice to me. So you I don't appreciate this. Just like you ordered. That's a big hill. Hope you're happy with that. See you later. I'm downtown and about ready for a resupply. Be out directly. Anything you Let want to see what you got. Use it. Didn't boot here. I'm getting out.
Fucking eyeballing him right now. See straight, so you can't focus. Kaval Construction is a wreck. Now, Mr. Kaval. That's really Jimmy Kaval called. He's at the City Hall construction site and wants to see me. He knows. I don't know how, but he knows I've been helping you people. He's gonna kill me, or I'm going to jail. Then he'll kill me. Oh, God. Go home to your wife, Lenny. Pack a bag. Get out of town for a couple days. When you get back, this will all be over. You'll talk to Jimmy? Sure. Kavar's waiting for you. I'm gonna follow your advice. Get out of town. I was this stupid. Is they come? Sure. He had all kinds of I mean, they... I'm Me downtown and about ready for a resupply. Going at you. Hang tight. See anything you need? Show me what you got. I'll be... This is done. You know how to find me. Gotta unload some bread in downtown. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. We're gonna take Keep off your safe. hands. On my way. Call me if you need me.
look, I know you knew, but you can't be asking for money at a time like this. The white's all over my ass. This can't come this way. Is it? Uh, 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 fuck it, take me! gonna bury me. You hear? Bury me. Worrying about the wrong man, Jimmy. I'm downtown. Need some help securing it. Consider it 
done. They'll be there before you know it. It took me months to figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre at Sammy's and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. The Bureau didn't have a file on Clay, and I wasn't aware of his military training because his service records were classified. Otherwise, I, I might have started to connect the dots after the death of Richie Doucette. I can smell it on your breath. Beat. I'm sorry. Went to double shift yesterday. Don't fucking sorry gotcha. me. I should shit can your cracker ass right now. Oh my god. Reporter? Harold Cawley. That's Hatler. I'm covering Durazio's little corruption racket. Can't imagine it's good for your health, naming names in the Marcano organization. Didn't you hear? Even cigarette smoke will kill you. So here's what I know. We've got city officials taking bribes. Blackmail. Juicy stuff. At the center of it all is a fellow named Frankie Bernard. The problem is, I don't know where he operates. Might make it kind of hard to find him. Ah, but the thing is, I hear Mr. Bernard uses debt drops. Spots where his people leave bribes for officials to pick up. And I just happen to know where they are. I also understand Frankie keeps a sweet blackmail stash of every dirty deal he's done. I'll see if I can't get one of those couriers to give up the location for your mystery man. And his little blackmail stash. The people working for Bernard are just as secretive as he is. You might have to find some way to get them to talk. something. You're gonna tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. Mr. Bernard has a bag man making drops. All I know is the kind of car they're driving. You run with me now.
do with that piece? Trouble, boys. See me trying to get my head down? Don't look back. I'm footing downtown and need some new wheels. Aye. Coming through. Why don't you call so-and-so? So-so wheels looking boots, chicken into the road. yesterday. What's up? Got a car here for you. Appreciate it. We got a problem, someone's murdering us! You're gonna tell me what you know about Frankie Bernard. The boss is running things out of the Imperial Bath Hell Spa. He's keeping the politicians in line with dirty pictures he got stashed there. Here on out, I call the shots.
built that gym. Neighborhood needs it. Coming through. Is that my fault?
fuck was that noise? Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear... Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. There's things Sal needs.
we ended up with was cat nut sacks. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? Locked. But I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel?
I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Just tears in a bucket. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was in 1942, no, 43. You must have been about the age you are now. Ah, shit! Yes! Now where the fuck was I? Ah, yeah. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two... We got the goddamn devil working right here! Lost my train of thought. Oh, that's right. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had... Ah, shit! Lost my train of thought. Oh, that's right. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was in 1942. No, we got the goddamn devil working right here. Now where the fuck was that? Ah, oh, yeah. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was in 1942. No, 43. You must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man. This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. time you showed up. Turns out there's at least one sane motherfucker in Marcano's crew. Enzo Conti backed away clean. No one's moving anything through Barclay Mills without paying up to us. I'm all in on this turf, brother. My guys locked it down just like your ass. But I still got the bitter taste of our last gathering in my mouth. Do right by me this time. Too many times I've walked away from this table with nothing and my boys. They're sitting back home with their thumbs up their arses waiting for a call from you. I'll no longer be ignored. This district comes to me. We're on a good run here, Lincoln. I see no reason anything should change. Now, not using my guys to lock down a district makes it real fucking messy if you want us to run shit, but hell, you pay me to clean up the mess. Are you just another two-faced asshole? I get it. You gotta consider all your options. Take a stand here, Chucky. Square it up with me. Who's it? I'm tired of being snuffed by you. Give me the keys to the kingdom, partner. Prove you're worth a damn, Lincoln. The Haitians will run this part of the city. I've had enough of this shite. You're a lying, cheating bastard for dragging me into this. You preyed on my fucking sympathies and I'll never forgive you for it. Never thought I'd say this, but Burke's right. You can't keep leading us on like this, Lankin. Not for much longer. There's only so much shit none an Irishman can take before he wipes it from his eyes and comes at you with both barrels. I see you clearly now, Lincoln, and it's time you made this right. Come on, Irish. Relax. You've been around the block enough to know it's just business. You made your point, Burke. Now that's enough. Y'all don't have to like the decisions I make. And to be honest, your egos are the least of my fucking concerns. Way I see it, you fall in line or you fall out altogether. Now let's go make some fucking money. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. 
Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. You know, right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray painted, God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. And since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. Well, it's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to were other entitled pricks. So who are you gonna go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. You know, that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. <laughs>